Bruins. Welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday video. I'm Vivi. And I'm Chris. And we're gonna be talking about a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset today. So a growth mindset is you believe your intelligence and talents can be developed over time. And a fixed mindset is you believe intelligence is fixed. So if you're not good at something, you might believe you'll never be good at it. So Vivi, what type of mindset do you think you have? So I myself like to think that I have a growth mindset, but there's definitely days where I do have more of a fixed mindset. Um, I myself am a big perfectionist, so it's really hard for me to not focus on those little details. I get really fixed on trying to make everything perfect and right. But with the help of some peers and some trusted adults, I've really grown to kind of let things go a little bit and allow myself to just be more comfortable with things. What about you, Chris? So I think I have a growth mindset. Sometimes, yeah, like Vivi said, I'll have a fixed uh, mindset some days, and but I try to fix that and have a growth one to develop. All right, now we are gonna pass it on to Roger and Josh, and they are gonna talk just a little bit more about uh, growth versus fixed mindset. Thanks, Vivi and Chris, for explaining what growth and fixed mindsets are. Now uh, I'm gonna ask Roger some questions that come into play about failure and you know, all that stuff. So Roger, what about failure is scary to you? One thing about failure that I think is pretty scary is like the thought of like what's to come after. Like there's never like an always for sure foreseen outcome because you could, there's many ways a situation can go. And that's why I think I struggle with so much about me failing. So the next question is what keeps you from trying? What keeps me from trying is the thought of failing. And the thought of failing just scares the heck out of me. I'm just gonna say it because like, you're just never gonna know what can happen after you fail. And especially after you try your hardest, it's always like a slap in the face. So that's why it's always time. Okay, and the last question is, do you view your challenges as opportunities? Personally, I do view my challenges as opportunities because with those challenges, you have a chance to learn and grow from those challenges. and you get better opportunities from completing those challenges. So what about you, Josh? Do you view your challenges as opportunities? Yeah, Roger, I do feel like I view challenges as opportunities because like, it's a chance to prove yourself and you know, if you succeed in that um, challenge, then it's like you just better yourself. And so we're gonna pass it back to Chris and Vivi. Thank you, Bruins. Thank you, Josh and Roger. Our activity for this week is going to be writing a letter to our future wiser selves about our mindset. It doesn't have to be anything long. It can just be, you know, short, sweet sentence, but as long as you write something down on what you want to improve. Um, thank you for watching today. Remember that the peer mentors are always here in room A212. You can always reach out to Mr. Morellis or you can text 494949 to talk to Remedy Live. Um, that is all we have for today. See you next week, Bruins.